Last time on Drastic DS Quick Tips, Operation iDroid showed you how to get your favorite Nintendo DS games on your home screen, allowing you easy access to your favorite games. Now, in this episode, Operation iDroid will show you another magnificent tip, but what will it be? <laughs> oh my, I don't even know why I did that. I've been watching way too much Legend of Korra, which is an excellent show. But anyways, in this drastic DS quick tip, I will be showing you how to take advantage of key mapping. And to do that, you have to open drastic DS, go to change options or go to options, scroll down and you'll see input and right under that use key mapping. And basically what key mapping allows you to do is change the buttons of certain commands. So if you go to map control, you'll see the basic stuff, X and all the other buttons there. But we're not going to be changing those in this episode because I recommend you keep those the same and don't mess with them. What you do want to do is click on Map Special. And I'm going to be showing you how to select different things for other buttons. So for example, we have Quick Save here. And if I want to assign Quick Save to my Up Volume button, I can go ahead and click it and Quick Save will be saved to that. And I also will be adding Quick Load to the Down Volume button. And I just used external keys that are not in use during the Drastic DS application and put them to use with some awesome features. So you can rename what you just key map so you, you have different key mapping slots and you can name each one. I'm going to name this test because I'm showing you guys it. And anyways let's see it in action. So when you go into load new game and you load up whatever game you want this works with every universal game and when you press the button, it will activate the command you set it to. So again, I set volume up to quick save. So when I click it, I will quick save just as it's set. So this can be very useful for not necessarily this Nexus 7 that I have, but other devices that have a lot of external buttons. You can use the external buttons to use and basically use your whole device as the best emulation experience instead of just using the buttons on screen. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this drastic quick tip, and the next one is going to be a pretty awesome one, so let's shoot for 75 likes and I'll upload the next drastic quick tip. Anyways, if you watch this whole video and don't have drastic DS, then um, I recommend that you click on the top left or follow the link in the description. As well as, if this is your first drastic quick tip and you missed the first one, then follow the link in the description as well. Make sure you subscribe for some more drastic quick tips and follow me on Twitter.